So this is my gecko's enclosure. His name is Toast, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys his lovely routine that me and ha him have. Um, but yes, he's sleeping right under his hide right there, and you can see his tail poking out. He's right there because that's where his heat mat is. So first thing in the morning, I go over to his cage and I take off the lid and his lighting and stuff so that I can refill his water dish and spray his humid hide down. I want to mention that his light system, which is his UVB light and his heat light for uh, supplemental heat, I have those on a timer so they turn on before I'm even up, just so that he has an everyday schedule so it's a lot more healthy and natural for him. So these will also turn off at a certain time so he has the same schedule every day. So, he so I just remove his UV light and then I put his heat lamp propped up so I can have some light to see what I'm doing in his tank. This is also the time when I sometimes tidy up his cage anywhere it needs it. So like here he has eco earth all over the place where he's supposed to not have eco earth on it. There's toast. He kind of looks like he might be hungry. So I'm going to set up the tripod and we'll go ahead and see if we can get some feeding action because... So as you can see, he just ate a good amount of food for you guys, which I'm super pleased about because he's been a bit picky due to it being brumation period. He is a male leopard gecko, so he doesn't lay eggs. Um, with female leopard geckos, they do have um, cycles where they lay eggs in their ovulation periods, and that causes them to eat less due to the creation of the egg. But as for male leopard geckos, like other reptiles, they can go through a brumation period where basically they just don't eat as much because of the slight change in temperature that they can kind of sense. Even though obviously their climate is still being kept intact with your heating system and stuff, it still kind of affects them some way. So then they might eat less. I think that's what we're dealing with with him, but also leopard geckos are just really picky eaters. Um, so he just has his phases where he's being, like, he's just not that hungry. So or yeah, he just ate. Usually I wouldn't feed him in the morning unless he's really hungry. Oh, I just got a yawn. I don't know if you saw the yawn. But I did just feed him because he was hungry. Sometimes I'll feed him in the morning like today because he's just really hungry because he hasn't have fed him the day before. I'll be feeding him the next day. Or I'll feed him or I'll give him food <laughs> later in the day after I wake or after I like spot clean. But yeah, sometimes I sparkly and feed him and do everything like that right away in the morning if he's willing to eat in the morning. But yeah, now I have to do what I said I was going to do, which is change his water dish, which I do every single day in the morning, and then miss his humid hide, which I also do every single day in the morning. I'm going to go change his water dish and I'll be right back. I use RepTi Safe in his water um, to keep it 
reptile safe. So I'll be right back. So I got him his fresh water. I also scrub out his dish because it can get like gross probably if I didn't do that, but I never miss a day on that, so we're good. He is just digesting his food right now. So next, I'm going to mist his humidide with this bottle of water I keep next to his tank. And it's treated with RepiSafe as well, so I don't have to worry about that. And I just, oh, it leaked, but I, I just missed his humidide real quick. With that being done, everything is done for spot cleaning and stuff I do in the morning with him. The last thing I have to do, since I did also just feed him, is I have to let him digest his food for a couple hours. So I'm actually going to go about my day and much later after I eat something for dinner and have relaxed, I will be back to handle him and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna film that today because I am planning on including details on my handling and taming with him now that he is a very tame and bonded boy with me in a future video. So just to keep it short today, that is everything I do with him along with handling him every single day and if you guys really want to see a tanning video because i really want to make one make sure you hit that like button and comment down below your thoughts i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next week bye guys